It is again my pleasure to introduce you to one of our partners, one of the recently joined partners in the Druid network, uh, with a focus particularly on the DAH market, but not only. Um, the partnership has skyrocketed in a short period of time, and now we are very glad that Matthias was able to, to come uh, to this event um, having his first customer. And so uh, I will be very happy to learn more about the transformation journey that you guys prepared for Object Carpet. Thank so. so first of all, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, not only from my side, but from the whole of team of Lunatech, that we have the opportunity to be here on stage today and give you a little bit of a sneak peek and a little bit of a glimpse what our customer journey now looks like with Object Carpet and will also look like in the future within the next two and three years. So our vision is we shape the automated world. And as Lunatech, we are constantly thinking about on how the automated world will all impact us as people, but also what influences the automated world. And not only technology will influence that automated world, but also here in this case, the people, which is every one of you in this room, but also the people who are watching here on the live stream. And one of these people is also my dear, I will call him friend now, Mark Kaminsky <laughs> from Object Carpet. Thank you, Matthias. Um, Object Carpet may be an, a company that you might not know, but behind it is a team full of faith. Since 1972, we manufacture premium quality. Our commitment is reflected in design, innovation, and sustainability. Values that partners such as Porsche, Google, or EY have come to appreciate. However, our pursuit of excellence is not only limited to our products. We want to develop constantly our processes and services. Imagine processes streamlined and forward thinking. Imagine customer support, seamless, responsive, and even predictive. That is what we for sure all strive for. Building on our achievements to date and including groundbreaking product developments such as NEO, the first monocarpet in the world, um, we now want to integrate AI into our service offerings. We don't just want to make carpets, we want to create experiences that are driven by data and developed intelligent for our customers. And how we do it, or how we tackle this mission, I will hand it over to you, Matthias, once again. Yeah, so before we join into that, actually the story of the monocarpet, Mark told me just on, 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 on the flight here, which is really exciting. So it's actually the first 100% recyclable carpet in the world. So if the customer gives it back from that material, they can create 100% a new carpet out of that material. So pretty exciting. So how do we start? Um, basically, well, Mark called me like one or two months ago, it was, I think, uh, telling me that he has sleepless nights. And with a consultancy background that I do have and solution driven, I gave him the smart advice, maybe just start or stop to drink so much coffee and maybe do a workout before you go to bed late at night so you can have a good rest of a good night, good night's sleep. But before I could even send the email with the invoice for that perfectly advice, uh, which I was very proud of. <laughs> he told me that he doesn't even drink coffee. And he's already in good shape, so he already goes to the gym. So his sleepless nights, so the root cause of his sleepless nights was not actually too much caffeine or too less sport. But the root cause was actually he was thinking about the reason, the reason technology advances, especially in the field of conversational AI and generative AI. So after chatting a little bit back and forward, uh, what we did was well, first of all, we asked Lunatech presenting them a few industry-specific cases to get them onboarded on the journey, uh, where we showed them the value of the Druid platform, and not only that, but also just in general, also implementing the generative AI aspect and the large language models that we already heard about today, which is pretty exciting, but also, 
them sharing with us their own idea. So whether it be a quick shower thought, or them brushing their teeth, or just watching a Netflix movie, whatever comes to their mind, they just send me an email back and forth. I think I got like 10 emails from Mark and his colleagues just with quick yes. notes. What about this? What about this? What about this? So without any judging, we just put that all on a table, and within one and a half weeks, we get over 30 ideas for use cases for conversational AI and generative AI. And what we did then, I mean, of course, traditional before we pick into the fancy tech part, so to say, we did traditional consultants. So we evaluated the use cases, we basically made a pipeline for them, and the result of that, basically, was a whole roadmap after all these steps, looking at the data, analyzed every one of them, scored every one of them, looked into a deep dive business benefit of all of them, and we actually came out with 15 use cases ready for implementation, which will take place in the next two to three years. So after that part, of course, after all these idea gathering and what we can do with all this new technology and all these challenges that Object Carpet has, it was time to bring our ideas to life. So what we did, we started our first Lighthouse project, which is called Object Carpet GPT. So that's our current name. It's not so cool, it's not so good sounding, so if anyone, if you has a better idea, maybe after a few drinks tonight, then please come to me, then we will come up with a cool new name. I think we heard like Roll today and other names. We need something like that as well. So if you have any ideas, also the audience watching, add me on LinkedIn and write me your ideas. We will be pleasant to hear. So the biggest, one of the biggest challenges that Object Carpet has, which is also one of the biggest strengths. So they have a pretty diverse product portfolio. What does that mean? Well, they have all sorts of different sizes, shapes, materials, and if we multiply all of that, we come to over 40,000 variations of their product portfolio, which gives them a huge challenge to fulfill the customer wishes and the customer needs, so they expect nothing but the best, and also, of course, in the customer experience, they expect nothing but the best to get every answer for their questions. So on how to tackle this challenge, what we did basically, we implemented two virtual assistants. Number one virtual assistant is a classical customer service virtual assistant, which answers all of your question in regarding to the product portfolio, the technical implementation, the technical specification, and be a happy customer, so to say. And the other challenge that we needed to solve is there are so many variations of the same product that sometimes their internal staff is spending so much time just looking through all the data points, through all the data sheets, to find the answers they need right now to answer their emails, to get their project going, to get the design going, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, wasting hours and hours and hours. So we provide that same service for their internal stuff as well to boost their productivity. So in numbers, as you can see here, 30% uh, CST rate, basically, that is the goal which just started there. And we will up that goal in the course of the next month. We will have an under three month return on investment, which is pretty fast. And so far, 100 plus hours saved per year. So, and as um, we are a medium sized family business who strives for adaptability and therefore success in the market, we uh, necessarily come up to financial limitations when it comes to investing in new activities. And that is why we examine the profitability of every project. Nothing new. I think uh, so far so good. Sounds somehow logical for all of you guys. However, it is important to understand that we are not concerned about the technology or one singular use case. Rather, we are concerned about the overall long-term strategic plan that is made up of individual components which are linked to our comprehensive vision and always considered from a business impact perspective. And best case is the savings from the first or two or three projects and the flexibility gained will in somehow, 
save or serve to finance the next ones upcoming. Yeah, and the possibility of that thinking of, of long term, so having your savings of your first two, three use cases and then automatically, either partially or completely refinance all the further use cases over the next roadmap for the two and three years is, that it opens a whole new possibility for companies, also mid-sized companies like Object Carpet. So we're only beginning here, it's only the start. We're, we'll expand the scope after the first project here and we'll expand these virtual assistants across the whole company. So we will do a classic employee self-service HR virtual assistant. We will implement that as well in marketing, including also we heard about something already today, change their tone, speaking the actual company language and create content for marketing. What we also will do is, of course, do that the same thing for sales and the same thing for finance. I think we already heard today a great presentation about creating reports with large language model integration together with Druid, and we're going to do that with Object Carpet here as well, which provides them a lot of value. So from the idea, from the automated world to the automated company, together as a partner with Druid, and also with our customers, with Object Carpet, we strive to shape tomorrow's company, which is the automated company, which will result in the automated world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Could I say uh, two things just out loud? We asked the question about value earlier on. I, I love what you've done at the start of your process. It's not one use case, it's 30 use cases. Uh, how did you go about getting all those? Because that must create a wonderful momentum yeah. for the business itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I said, like, they were already thinking, so not just Mark, but also his, his, his partners were already thinking about the whole topic of artificial intelligence, conversational artificial intelligence, generative AI, and all these aspects. Of course, somewhat also driven with the chat GPT hype. I, I can't deny that. So they were already having a few ideas, because they do know their processes best than anyone else. They already came up with some ideas. We are basically came up with our ideas and a joint effort over the course of just one and a half weeks, many calls and nice sessions. We had that comprehensive list and then did quick workshops with them to basically score all of these in a structured way and then come up with the roadmap. And, and when you say scored, when we were preparing for today's session, we did prepare, by the way, we really did our homework. <laughs> you mentioned a lot about return on investment. Yeah. So it's not just we, we'll build a bot and we'll throw it in there and then let's see what happens. There's an actual business case behind yes. each yes. piece so, of work. Would you mind just yeah, a little so, bit more so, detail? So we had four metrics, basically. One is the process complexity overall of what we're talking about. The second one is the technical complexity of implementing such a bot in that area. The third one would be the data availability, because without data, which I must admit, like Object Carpet is really advanced. Mark can say a few words about that afterwards. So they have especially on their product side, all data available which you would need for, for, for such a project, and all centrally stored in, in a system which is perfectly to, to, to build on a conversational layer so they can work with it. And of course, fourth one is the business benefit, so that's the numbers of Mark and his colleagues. And together with these four components, we made a scoring basically, and then made a roadmap in the classical way, the classical quadrant I think everyone is, is, is familiar with, with low-hanging fruits, quick wins, long-term improvements, and something maybe for the parking slot. And then we scored each individual of them, and from that we built a roadmap. Oh, wow. And uh, was I right? You're building toward a megabot. Yes. Would you mind just explaining a little bit more detail that journey and why a megabot is so key to what you're trying to do or achieve? Yeah, I will hand that question over to Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, as Matthias told, our database is quite good for a medium-sized company, and um, we already knew four or three years ago that it always starts with data and always starts with clean processes, and that's the probably one of the only advantages that we as a small business have, that our infrastructure is not that complex as probably from Siemens, oh, we already heard. So that was the, 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 yeah, the beginning of the journey, and now I lost the, the question. Megabot. The ah, the megabot, the why we want to do it. Ah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's quite easy because 
if we think about the automated company and all the use cases that we now gathered in the last two or three or six months, then there must be a lot to come in the next stages of this um, technology. And why shouldn't we use our advantage of being small and being adaptable to, to all different kinds with, with this transforming session? Yeah. Yeah, and, and another advantage for them is they have one platform, so one single point of contact for everyone within the organization. You can seamlessly integrate that into teams which they are using, so that everyone has a virtual assistant. We sometimes call them their own little minion. I don't know if you know the, know the movie. So do the work for you. Do it dynamically. Just tell them what to do. We had also a great presentation. I think it was, I think from 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 Andrea, which was. Uh, to, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from, from two bots actually speaking to each other, which was really exciting. But just choosing as a minion, as your personal assistant, and then made it, makes the job easier. Fantastic. Look, uh, I think you have everyone in the room salivating over quality data and very well understood processes. Yes. Folks, round of applause. Thank you so much for having <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.